Corrupt cops who think they can get away with anything are in for a shock when they cross paths with higher authorities. Let's see what happens when they try to mess with the wrong people. Just like in this first case, where a young woman's confrontation with an officer escalated from a simple traffic stop to a full-blown arrest. Hey! What's going on? Show the police. What's that? What's going on? Copy. Okay, why don't you jump out so I can talk to you? 22, I'll take a second to talk about one time. Hey, what's going on? Nothing, my tongue fell out. My tongue ring. Your tongue ring? Yeah. Why don't you jump out so I can talk to you? Where do you stay at? Um, up Hobalt. At Hobalt? Yeah. Okay, here, come on. Come on. Step out and talk to me. You okay? Yeah. Just leave your car, your phone in the car, that's fine. Yeah, okay. Just leave, you, leave your towel in there, your blanket. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, just leave it in there. Here, come on. Step over here for me. Come on over. What's going on? Put your phone in your pocket for me, please. I had lost my arm. Uh... Just put your phone in your pocket for me, please. For what? So I can talk to you. I want to see what's going what's on. Up? Nothing. I just ran out of gas. That's it. That's all that happened. Okay. That's can you put your phone away for me, please? For what? Because I'm trying to talk to you. What's up? Can you put your phone away? What's so up? we can have a conversation because you're distracted by it. We can have a conversation. What's so up? So what's going on? I just ran out of gas. That's How it. long ago did you run out of gas? Like 20 minutes ago. I'm waiting on somebody to pull up. That's it. Okay. You know where you're at? But, yeah. It's my best friend's house. So... You ran out of I gas. I just ran over out here? of gas. That's it. I'm trying to find somebody to come help me put some gas in my car. Okay. Unless you, you hang up get, your phone. Unless you want to give me a ride, you want to? We can see about a ride. I'm trying to talk to you. You can give me a ride if you want to. If not, I'm gonna go back to my car so I can find somebody. Okay, we're not doing that. that right now. I'm talking to you. Okay, well you can talk to me and let me know okay. the we're solution. Just, give me your phone. You we're can't give me we're your done phone. with this. We're done with this. Let go. You can't give or me I'm gonna arrest you. Let go or I'm gonna arrest you. Let go or I'm gonna arrest you. Let go. I'm going to arrest you. That's not acceptable. Okay. That's it. What's your bad name? Yeah, what are we doing over here? I'm gonna put it right here. Yes. Okay, how much did you have to drink today? Nothing. How much did you smoke today? Nothing. Why does your car smell like cannabis? It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. I'm trying to talk my, to you. My. The young woman, Mia, started the interaction on the wrong foot. You can tell that she was trying to hide something because the officer was extra nice towards her, and she responded in a mean way. But this was just the beginning. I'm sitting here waiting for somebody to pull up so I can get some gas, and that's it. That's all I'm sitting here for. Okay, well, That's it. You don't have to ask me like, oh, you have cannabis. You have no I don't have nothing. You can okay. check my car. Can I talk to you a second here? I don't here? have nothing. What's your name? My name is Mia. Mia. So the reason why I'm asking you, okay? Because I'm, I'm sitting right here, right? <laughs> can I finish my conversation oh, with you? Oh. The reason why I'm asking you, okay, is yes, you're sitting in the middle of the roadway and you're blocking traffic, okay, but you're also slumped at the wheel, like you're asleep completely. No, I'm just sitting here. I'm waiting. I'm tired. It's early in the morning. I just got off work. I'm tired. Okay, where do you work at? And where are you headed to? Home. I'm tired as where, well. Where do you live at? Off Hobo. I told you that already. Okay. Do you know what street you're on right now? No, I don't know what street I'm on right now. So why would you be up this way? Like because this, is I just, this is my best friend's house. I just told you that. I came to drop her off. Okay, you didn't tell me that you're dropping her off. It doesn't matter. I don't have to tell you that. That's none of your business. I'm just letting you know this is my best friend's house. Okay. And That's I'm trying. And I'm trying. I'm just telling you. I ran out of gas. It's not a problem. I just I'm waiting for somebody to bring me some gas, and that's it. What time did you get off at? Three. Okay. And what time did you drop her off at? I don't know. I don't keep tabs on that. I just came to drop her off. Okay. And that's it. Okay. I'm trying to have a conversation okay, with Okay, we don't have to have a conversation. I don't talk to the police. I just, whatever is needed, is needed. But it's all the extra stuff, I'm not doing. Okay. The real question that the officer should have asked was, who runs out of gas in the middle of the street and has a nap with a blanky towel? You got heavily bloodshot, glassy eyes, and you're, you were slurring your speech. Okay. You normally slur well, your that's speech? What I'm, that's what I'm waiting on. I'm waiting on her. Yes, okay. I'm tired. 
Okay. I just got off work. Yes, I'm slumped over the wheel. Yes, I'm tired. I'm tired as fuck, actually. I just got off work. Okay, so why can't we have a conversation about what's what going on? Who do we out? have to have a conversation about what's going on? If I'm how, letting you know what's much, going on. How much did you have you to just smoke tried today? To, you just tried how much to, did you have to smoke today? Nothing. You didn't smoke anything. I don't smoke. Why does you say your car smell like cannabis? Sir? It don't matter. I don't. I don't smoke. Okay. Did you take any prescription medications? No. Okay. You want to do some tests so I can make sure you're safe to continue no, on I don't, driving? I don't take none of that. If a person refuses to take a field sobriety test and prove that they are safe to continue operating a motor vehicle, the officers are then forced to arrest them. No, I just don't right. take none of that. Is there a reason I why you doing all this? Yes, because I want to over stopped. some gas. You're stopped in the middle of the street. Over some gas. And I want to make sure you're safe. That's that's oh, the bottom line. I'm safe. Line. I'm pretty safe. I'm letting you know that I'm safe. Okay, but you're not willing to do any tests. What do I need to do a test for? So I can make sure that you're safe to drive. I don't even have to drive. I'm staying at night here. And you're stopped in the middle of the roadway. Yes, because my my gas. They're coming to put my gas okay, in. Okay, so you're not willing to do any tests. What am I doing the test for? I'm not even supposed to be talking to y'all. So that because you're operating a motor vehicle and you're stopped in the middle of the roadway right here. I'm stopping over the road because I need some gas. I feel like y'all harassing. What's your name? I'm Officer Basiac. Somebody's pulling up to get some gas for my car because I ran out of gas. And how long ago did that happen? I don't know. Hey, stay over here. You're stay over here. Leave. You're not free to leave. Why? You're being stopped for improperly parking the roadway. What am I being arrested for? You're not being I'm not arrested. arresting you. I'm, okay, you so are being why did I can't be in my car? Because... I know all my laws. Come on. Because I don't know what's in your Come vehicle. On. You could check my vehicle. Go Can ahead. I? Okay, why don't you it stand over here for matter. me? Go stand over here for me. At the end of the day, y'all can't y'all can't check in my vehicle. Go ahead, stand over here. Permission, so stand matter. over here for me, please. And y'all can't take my phone away. Let me ask you this. I ain't gonna lie to you because I could call them right now. Okay, let me ask my you this. My uncle works for are you the will, state. Are you willing to provide my a preliminary breath sample so I can see what's going on? You're pissing me off. Okay, go ahead. Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest for DUI. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Now you're arrested for obstructing. Now you're arrest for obstructing. You're in my camera. No, I'm not. Now you're under arrest for you're resisting. Why you're not? Because I don't want to have to chase you. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. Put your hands behind your back. Do it now! Put your hands behind your back. Do it now! Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. She went from a tough gangster to a crying little girl in less than a minute, and then it got even worse. You just bit me. We're fighting. Put your hands behind your back. I got a taser. Do it now. Put your hands behind your back. Do it now. Come on, sit up. Go ahead, stand up. 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 My dad's a police. Can you please call him? Stand up. Yes, please call her. It's a, it's a, it's a light. My dad's a police. Please, please. Yes. Let's go. Yes, she's home. I'm deadly present all the time. Yeah, and you've been a police officer. Good job. Take a seat. I swear to God. <laughs> Mia was completely in the wrong here. If she'd complied with the officer, she might have gotten away with way less. But by biting an officer, she put herself in way more trouble than was necessary. <laughs> yeah, the racist bitches, I swear to God. <laughs> 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 Please, can I talk? 
can I please talk to you? Can I please talk to you? I feel like they're harassing me. I didn't even fight nobody. I'm not trying to get into it with nobody. I'm just waiting for my mom to bring me some gas. While the suspect is detained in the car, the officers will proceed to search the vehicle for any alcohol or drugs. Yeah, it's just kind of disgusting. I don't want to go to the hospital. They're not going to take the viruses out of me. All right. Put those wipes on it. Yeah. Okay. 21. I've got a purse I think is for property probably. So. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to reach across you. Don't bite me. Okay? I'm not going to bite you. Huh? I'm not going to bite you. Don't bite me. Lean back. You're going to go in another car. Okay? Bring your feet up. This is this your purse? Yeah, that's not. Okay. <laughs> Mia was arrested and charged with aggravatory resisting or obstructing a peace officer (DU1) an operation of an uninsured motor vehicle. This lieutenant was way out of line, but you won't believe what the next officer did to the woman. Will flipped him off. You're under arrest for failing to signal lane change. I'm under arrest for failing to signal a lane change. Yes, ma'am. On November 6, 2023, Brittany was peacefully driving in her hometown of New Braunfels, Texas, when she saw Officer Patrick Akers. A little background on Patrick. He was a well-known women abuser and had a history of abusing different women in the city. One of them was Brittany, who Patrick had harassed on a different date. So naturally, when Brittany sees Patrick on the road, she flicks him off. Upon seeing this, the officer's humongous ego gets activated and he gets to work. So this is that female Trevino. She flicks me off as I'm going back to the back of my patrol car, fails the single left hand to go into the left lane. She flicks me off, so I just wanted a second to make contact with her. How's it going? Officer Akers, New Braunfels Police Department. Okay. I know who you are. That's fine. Well, the reason why you're being. over for flipping you off. No, ma'am. The reason why you are, you are retaliating against me. You turn your sirens on and everything. Ran over here like a crazy person. Okay. Well, ma'am, the reason why you're being contacted is you failed to signal lane change when you flicked me off. Okay. Okay. So go ahead and step out of the car. Step out of the car. I have three officers here. He's hurt me before. Please don't let him. As soon as the woman bravely exposes the tyrant's true nature, he immediately tries to talk over her. This just goes to show that he's nothing more than a bully abusing his power. What's even more disturbing is that he's been getting away with this behavior for years, and no one has called him out on it. Yeah, could you, would you mind, Henderson, go ahead and detain her? In cuffs? No, because he, he's, then he's to me. Okay, all right, You're under arrest for failing to signal lane change. I'm under arrest for failing to signal a lane change? Yes, ma'am. I'm under arrest for failing to signal a lane change? Yes, ma'am. I'm... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You guys just know this is... You guys just know it is. You guys know it is. You're under arrest. Grab my phone. Grab my phone. Please grab me. Please grab me. We'll get it. You want me to transport, or you you think better? Yeah, Danny, can do. Danny, would you mind just transport? You don't have to do anything else other than transport. I'll be there. When Sergeant Scott shows up, Patrick gets a reality check. The sergeant insists that Patrick turn off his body camera to save himself from embarrassment, leaving us to rely on the audio from a cell phone instead. What's that? Yeah, she has a driver's license, but. I'm not turn this off. No. Yeah, she has a driver's license, but... Well, she, she comes down the street, comes right towards me, and as I'm walking back by the car to do nothing, she picks me off. Mm -hmm. And then as she does that, she gets on the lane and fails the single lane change. Mm -hmm. okay. I, I, you guys, it's going to be an issue? Huh? You think it's going to be an issue? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
so any other person you would write a ticket to, right? Yeah. So that's, that's how you have to treat every every interaction. So if you would normally write a this is something that you would normally write a ticket for, then you would write a ticket for. Yeah. You want me to go ahead and Yes. Yeah. I'm for the plane for Charles Paul, Fort 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 So let's write the ticket and go about it that way. Sounds good. All you're going to do is give her more ammo. All right? Yep. So write the ticket, just fill it out. I didn't mind. Yeah, I did. What's that? Can you go wait by the back of the car, please? Audience, heard a copy broadcast. It's going to be the 25-minute block of 46 West. Callers arriving at Red Wing Dune SUV. Female swerving and putting her makeup on. Have a license plate of Nora Sam Henry 9090. Senior officer may seem respectable, but his behavior is just as disappointing as Officer Patrick's. Instead of taking responsibility and apologizing to the woman involved, he ends up unfairly blaming her for the whole situation. Um, you're good to go. So I understand that you flicked the officer off. That's not. So my question was, did you flick the officer off? Yeah. Okay. So. So here's the thing, regardless of what your history is with Officer Akers, your your intense hate caused you to flick him off and then you committed a traffic violation. Okay? And you've just gone on about your day and not worried about flicking people off or anything like that. None of this would have happened. I know that. Did this? Oh, I did. No, I didn't. Let me get your signature on That's not pleading guilty, that just promises to take care of that ticket, okay? I didn't. None of it ever is good on those automated ones, okay? So, here's the thing, right? Had, had you just gone on about your day, right? So, your, your intense hatred is causing you to do other things that is then is drawing attention to you. You need to move on with your life and move along. I don't get how he could have blamed it all on her. Knowing that he is being recorded, it's baffling how these tyrants keep getting away with these crimes. The sad part is, the two other officers should have stopped this. I'm not here to debate the situation with you. I watched the video. I, saw, I know everything that occurred. Okay? I know about the court stuff, everything that occurred. If Officer Akers had done anything wrong, he wouldn't be here right now. Right? That's 100% true. It is. So, you need to move on and not be running around flicking people off. Right? I get it. That's your First Amendment. If you want to flip people off, but what it did is it caused you to create a to create a hazard into a traffic infraction right in front of an officer. Right? Correct? I understand that bad things will happen to me if I do anything. No, that's not what anybody's saying. Right? You flicking people off I know that. has caused you to do a traffic infraction right in front of an officer and caused you to get a ticket.
you can you can choose to be defined by the, your past, or you can decide what you want to do. Right? That's it. But if you choose to be defined by what happened to you in the past, then you will always continue to be that person. Right? Do you understand what I'm saying? Just when you think things can't get crazier, wait until you see what happened next with an officer who thought he was above the law. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. What's the hurry? I'm just in my way to work. I'm at, I have like nine, 11 minutes left. Yeah, you have, you have, you have, you have nine minutes left? Yeah, okay. I can win that 12. Okay, and, and also, you're not staying in your lane. I'm sorry, boss, I have a low tire. That's all it is. Come back here and talk to me real quick. Yeah. Come back here. Yep. I've been chasing you probably since the 212 ish. Okay. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. So, did you do a favor? He gave you open on you, right? What's that? Do you have your weapon on you? Yes, sir. Let's put it in your car real quick. Okay. And your taser. When does when does shift start? Uh, twelve, sir. Twelve. Okay, start here. So, Mr. Hernandez, where are you coming from? Uh, Las Lunas. Where, where, where do you live at, Las Lunas? What's that? Where do you live at? It's hard to believe that an officer could be driving so fast and not keeping in the lane. But soon enough, the sergeant gets to the bottom of it. Okay. One, you're speeding. Yes, sir. With no lights on. Yes, sir. Two, I don't know why you keep going off the road. That's why I stopped you. Honestly, can I can I show you why? Well, you, you can tell me why. It's because I don't have my other light or my other key, and so my other key like it fucks me up because I don't have my other key in the ignition, and so it's pulling on my belt. That's why. Like, I can show you, sir. So that's why you're. That's why you can't stay in one lane. No, 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 no. no. Okay, no, no. I ask I, you why can't you stay in one lane? Because I'm trying to log on to all my stuff and everything like that. Okay. So when you when did you start logging into it? Honestly, I can show you. Like I've been trying to log on, doing all my other stuff. That's the, that's the only reason. Mr. Hernandez, when did you last drink alcohol? Uh, yesterday. Okay, I'm gonna check your eyes real quick. Okay. Put your toes together. Yep. I'm gonna talk about flashing lights. What time? What time? Yesterday. Uh, probably twelve. Noon yesterday? Yes, sir. So like twelve hours ago? Yes, sir. Okay. No, 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 no. Like noon the day prior. Okay. I'm gonna check your eyes. Okay. So, so nothing drink recently? No, sir. Okay, any, any major head injury? Uh, just a headache recently, but that, nothing crazy. Okay. When, when, did you, when did you graduate the academy? Uh, about three years ago, sir. Okay. Was I one of your instructors? What's that? Was I one of your instructors? No, sir. Okay. See my fingertip? Yes, sir. Follow my fingertip with your eyes only. Don't move your head. Yes, so Mr. also, Mr. Hernandez, can you explain why I would smell alcohol from your breath? I don't know why, sir. Okay, here we go. Don't move your head. Mr. Hernandez, do you have a license? Uh, on me, yeah. Can I see it? Sergeant Lefebvre couldn't believe what he was seeing, so he had to do the test again just to make sure. Take care, Mr. Hernandez. It's right there. Yes, sir. Okay, same drill. Put your heel and toes together. Yes, sir. Is that your sides? Yes, sir. Follow my fingertip. Don't move your head. Look at my knuckle, look at my fingertip, okay? Can you run this two more quick tests? We'll possibly get you on your way. Any problems walking, bouncing, or turning? Uh, I mean, just boost, but nothing crazy. Okay. Those are those what you use every single day? Uh, yeah. Relatively, I changed the uh, insoles on them, but... Okay. Come over me. 
Stand right here. Yep, on my light. Yes, Face your police unit. Put your heel and toes together. Right now, the only thing I want you to do is just listen to me, okay? Okay. Can you imagine a straight line from your left foot to my right foot? Can you imagine a straight line? All right, sorry. Which way? Just imagine a straight line from your left foot to my right foot. Nope. Don't do anything. Just, sorry, sorry, sorry. just imagine a straight line. Okay. Don't move your foot. Okay. Don't move your foot. Put your feet together, man. Do you understand what I want you to do? Yes, sir. Next up will be step number one. One. Turn face me. Put toes together. Hands on your sides. Can we do it on the other side of your unit? What's up? Can we do the other test on the side of your unit? No. We're okay. state police. Everything's done in our front. Okay, that's fine. I mean, it's super windy. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Okay. I did the test. Okay. Okay. So, no, no, I'm just saying that. Okay. If you are having trouble comprehending his words, you are not alone. His speech was so slurred that it was hardly understandable. Just keep on counting until you try to stop. So we're doing this test. Measure at your sides. Look down the foot that's elevated and count out loud. Yes, sir. Any questions? No, sir. Do you feel understand? Yeah, can I? Sure, you can face whichever way okay. you want. Whenever you're ready, I'll tell you when to stop. Can you can you count backwards? No sir. 58, 57, 56, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51, 50, 49, 48, 47, 46, 44, 45, 44, 43. Done? Yes, sir. Okay. The alphabet. Yes, sir. Starting with the letter H as a Henry, step in with the stopping at the letter R as a Robert. Recite them forward. Don't sing them. H star. H star. H I J K L M N O P Q R. Okay. Unfortunately, Mr. Hernandez, I believe that you're well over the legal limit. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and take a few. So, so I will, I will, I will do the favor of that. Would you, would you, would you disagree with me? Thank I, I wouldn't agree with you, sir. No, I said, I said, would you disagree with me? I would disagree. Okay. This coward didn't even have the guts to admit that he was drunk. It's because he was corrupted and didn't want to feel guilt for his erratic behavior. You're speeding. Yes, sir. Your, your driving behavior. Okay. I mean, yes. I mean, you, yes. Did you do great in the fields? No. Do you know how to do the field sobriety test? Yes. Your, your speech. I've never heard you speak. The, oh, the strong odor. Your eye movements. Okay. Okay, but my eye movement and nothing else. I'm, I'm not going to argue. Oh, I know you're not. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, here. Who's your sergeant? Do you want me to give him a call? We'll call him in a minute. You honestly, you don't need to do all that. Like, I can... Well, you have your gun belt, yeah. Do you want me to put in my unit? Yeah. No, sir. 
Did you have your phone? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, sorry, you didn't your phone. We need more officers like Sergeant Lafave. No nonsense. No discrimination. Just doing what's right. He didn't even think twice before calling him out. Oh, do you have a, do you have a t-shirt? Do you have a t-shirt? Yeah. Let's check out the APD. Oh. Face for my this car? Yep. Put your hands. Mr. Hernandez? Yes. I thought I saw something that said Mr. Callas. Oh, um, that's my shirt. That's my partner. I wear his shirt. Okay. It's just because his shirt fits better. Okay. So, Mr. Mr. Hernandez, I'm about to tell you something very important. You are now under arrest for driving under the influence of intoxicating liquor and or drugs. The next compact consent act requires you to submit to a breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. After you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. If you choose to take this additional independent test, you have the right to reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse, or lie towards your additional technologist who's available hospital, or a physician of your own choice to perform additional chemical tests. The cost of this additional test will be paid for by law enforcement agency, which is us, the Metro State Police. Mr. Hernandez, do you, do you agree to take our test? Which I'm asking for a breath test. No, sir. Jordan was transported to the state police office for processing, where he refused to give a breath sample. Jordan has pleaded not guilty to the charges and is on administrative leave until the investigation concludes. If you think this officer was out of his mind, wait until you see this next case in which the DA of a county was caught over speeding. I don't care if you got home. You were supposed to stop at Phillips Road when I pulled you over. On April 4th, 2024, a surprising turn of events occurred when Monroe County District Attorney Sandra Dorley was caught in a high-speed chase. She was issued a speeding ticket for racing at 55 miles per hour in a 35 miles per hour zone and failing to stop for the patrol car. It all happened while she was on her way home, and her priceless reaction upon realizing that actions have consequences was truly unforgettable. Sorry, I'm the DA. I was going 55 coming home from work. 55 and a 35. I don't really care. Okay. So you can call can you come? Can you no, please no, come no. over here? No. You're on. A, this is on a traffic stop, ma'am. Yes, it is. Dennis Kohlmeyer right now. Okay, I'm telling you why I stopped you. You didn't stop at all. Did you not hear my lights or sirens or no, anything? No, I didn't actually. I was on the phone. Okay, well, you're not supposed to be on the phone while you're driving either. Yes, I am. With the hands free, absolutely. That yeah, you were going 55 and a 35 Can on Phillips Road. Can you please tell to leave me alone? It's Christopher Officer Christopher Foley. Christopher Foley. Can you stay over here, ma'am? You're. This no, is a traffic. I'm not this is a. This is a legal here. traffic stop. Do you have your ID? No, it's in my purse. Here. You have your purse right there. No, this is my lunch. Would you talk to your talk to Dennis? This is ridiculous. Just go away. Hello, sir. Good, ma'am. Can you please stay at the back? Can this is a le ma'am. This is this legal is traffic stop. stop. Can oh. you please stay over here? No. no. Hey, baby, get your little guy out of here. Sir, I stopped her for going 55 and a 35 on Phillips Road. On Phillips Road. And Coming she failed to stop. She drove all the way back home, and parked oh, in her drive. And now she's not she's not complying with any of my commands. Ma'am, do not go inside. Oh my god. Here's Thank your phone you. back. I understand the law better than you. Would you just Nine leave five me? three. You Can you have a supervisor come to the scene? No. Get out of my house. I don't Nine know five why five. I don't know why you're acting like this towards me. Because Can you please go to the back of the vehicle? I'm not going to. I'm home. I was going. I was okay, fifty. I don't care if you got home. You were supposed to stop at Phillips Road when I pulled you over. I when my know. lights were initiated. I didn't know you were stopping me. There was lots of other people on the road. I was right behind you. Yeah, there were I, other people on the road too. Okay, I was directly I'm behind not, you. I'm not dealing with you right Can now. Can you please step over here? I'm not going to. What is the reason you're, you're so against what I'm doing? I'm doing my job. You say you're a DA? I am the DA. Okay. Okay, let me get you my badge. I am the DA in the government program. Despite the officer's repeated requests for her to stay outside, she persistently insisted on entering the house and verbally abused the officer. How am I being told? I am the DA in Monroe County. I understand yes, that, but I'm that doesn't give you a right to go 55 and a 35. 
And you even admitted to me that you went 50. I, I understand that, ma'am. I don't really I understand care. that. I don't, you know what? If you give me a traffic ticket, that's fine. I'm the one who prosecutes it, okay? Just go ahead and do it. Go ahead. Go ahead. I just don't understand the hostility. I, I understand no, you're I coming home from work. And half the time I was on the phone with Dennis telling him, why are you pulling me over? You're not even supposed to be on the phone to begin with. You oh, should yes. know that. Oh, 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 oh. On hands-free? Absolutely. Okay. You should know the law. Okay. If it is hands-free, that's great. But at the end of the day, you're going 55 and a 35. That's 20 okay. miles over the speed limit. Okay. You know what? That's fine. You know what I've been dealing with all day? Three murders in the city. And do you think I really care if I was going 20 miles over the speed limit? Sandra just wouldn't stop boasting about her status. But the officer calmly carried out his duty according to the law. I'm waiting for you just to leave. Well, I'm having a supervisor come because that's what my chief told me to do. Do you have your driver's license? I just showed you my driver's license. You show me your you show me your badge. Thanks, Jim. Really? Point EMS, a 14-year-old having a seizure, 200 East River Road, apartment 200 on the third floor. Because I was going 55 up to a floor. And I was just trying to pull into my driveway. I was okay. on the phone with Dennis Kohlmeyer saying, would you please tell the person who's following me that I'm, just, just, I'm almost ma home? Ma'am, I understand you were going home, but I started my lights back at Phillips Road. I'm on Phillips Road, I guess yes. you did, and there are other cars. At the end of the day, I was stopping you for speed. If you I've just stopped... I've had a really bad day. I've been dealing with murders And I get it, and I get it. We I, have bad I'm days sorry, also, ma'am. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We have okay. bad days also. My license back? I, I'm going to just add it to the job real quick. Okay, I'm You can just go and actually add it. You don't have to use the air. At the end of the day, I was just making a traffic sound, doing my job, what I was supposed yeah. to do. Oh, fine. Thank you. Okay. So now, supervisor's on his way, and Who's then we'll go from there. Huh? Who? Sergeant Johnson. I understand you had it. Like, I get it. I, we all have I'm bad just, days at work. Yeah, I'm going to go in the house. Seriously. This is ridiculous. No, this is a traffic stop. I, I was I didn't know if it was me. I wasn't sure because there were other cars going back and forth that I got to turning into the field press. And I'm like, I'm just going to drive home. That's what I did. So I got on the phone with Dennis. I don't know. Even before I turned, but when I turned in and said, you know, it's me that they're stopping. Just tell them it's me. So I don't know. That's me. That's me. General rule of thumb is if you see the lights behind you. 942. You know what? There are other cars in full 942. I'm just going to pull in. Yeah, I mean, that's you, sir. I would advise against that. I mean, you're supposed to pull off to the yep. side of the road if somebody with their emergency lights is coming behind you, anyways. Yeah, I just. Corey, Corey it's fine. Just. <coughs> we're having supervisors come, and then we'll go from there. Sandra couldn't believe it when another officer suddenly arrived at the scene. She quickly started explaining her side of the story, but to her astonishment, the new arrival firmly reminded her that drivers must pull over when emergency lights are flashing behind them. You guys can go. You guys go. I'll wait here with, wait for Sarge or LT. Sounds like LT is coming though. I was going 20 miles an hour over the speed limit on Phillips. I didn't pull over. I just figured I'd drive to my driveway instead. Yeah. You should run the plate. It's a big black SUV. <laughs> it's a big black SUV. And now I've got like five minutes. So she called Chief, then that's why I requested a supervisor. Okay. And now she was wanted to go inside, told her no, you can't go inside, and this is where we're at. So Not do our job because of you? No, it's fine. I said, write me a ticket. 
But I was just saying, I was not going to stop at Bowes Road at 5.30. Well, you broke it on the wall because of that. Right? You should know that. Sure. That's not true. That's an arrestable offense. Yeah. 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 Do you have her ID? I gave it back to her. It's attached to the job and everything, so. I didn't want to stop in Phillips Road. I was right down the street. I figured I would just stop in my driveway. That's what I figured. I thought, I thought it would be easier. Apparently that's wrong. <laughs> I'm still rolling, so. Yeah, do you, um. I mean, it's your traffic stop. I'm not going to tell you how to handle it. Yeah. It's a shame that people like her make law enforcement seem evil and corrupted. You can tell the officers were embarrassed by her. I'll be stepping out at 293 Taft Ave on us. Check for my missing person. Your stop, I'm not going to interfere with that. Yeah. I, mean, so I get that she came home. I mean, obviously, if I I'm was just trying no to sense yeah, I explained that to her. I, like, no sense to come home. She came home. She failed to stop. I mean, it's a arrestable offense. I'm not trying to arrest the DA of the county, but yeah. also I want, I don't want to not do my job in. The scene was tense as multiple police officers, along with their supervisor, arrived to restore order. The situation only escalated as the culprit refused to admit her blatant disregard for the law. Not at least write or something. So no, I, think I get it, and I'm not like I said, I'm not gonna. I'll at least write her the freaking going 55 and a 20. Okay. At the end of the day, I got discretion whether or not. No, I get it. I understand. So. Hello. I'm only just going to start the, t the one ticket. I'm issuing you speed that's, in zone, 55 and a 35. That's fine. I'll take care of it since I'll be prosecuting myself. Okay. At the end of the day, if you see my lights and sirens behind you, and obviously they're going off, just pull over. We're going to have a conversation and be on our way. I kept my eye on your vehicle. I'm not going to check my computer to see what point it is if a vehicle is not stopping for me. I want to keep my eyes on that vehicle for my safety okay, so I make it home at the end okay. of the day. I okay? I apologize, but... I, I, I'm God. sorry that you had a bad day, yeah. and I'm sorry it went this way, but I do respect what you do. Have a good day, man. But I would say... Here's something else that Paul Dennis on this. You know that... 95 radio is completely unreadable. Directly across from what? The stop sign of Phillips Road. 
I had just come from work. I was dealing with three homicides over the weekend, but we all have bad days and stress, and it was wrong for me to take it out on an officer that was simply doing his job, Dorley said. All nine members of the Rochester City Council sent a letter to State Attorney General Letitia James asking her to investigate the incident. People with authority think they are above the law just because of their position, like this next officer who was driving under the influence before getting pulled over. I don't have a choice. It's yes, you do. Anybody else. No, yes, you do. I can't treat anybody any differently. And on May 17, 2022, Officer Kristen Higgins stopped Pinellas County Deputy Sheriff Shelby Alice Coniglio with the St. Petersburg Police Department. As Officer Kristen approached Coniglio's car, she realized something was wrong. Can I see your driver's license, registration, proof of insurance? I'm a Pinellas County Deputy. Okay. And my driver's license, Huh? I'm a Pinellas County deputy. Okay. Do you have your license registration? No? You don't? Do you have your ID on you? Uh-huh. Do you have uh, any weapons on you? No. Okay. Well, I'm a deputy, but... Well, that's why I'm asking. Do you have any weapons on you? On I live car? right there. Okay. I would normally, but... Do you have your some kind of ID or anything on you? My ID is not here, but I'm a Pinellas County deputy. Okay. Do you have some kind of ID on you? That way I dropped my friend off and then I went this way because my I live right there. I get that, but I pulled you over because you were flying past everybody and you were cutting. No, I was just driving Okay, when the I was pulling behind way. you, at this point you were going like 56 and a 40. You were flying. No, I was not flying. Oh. I was just Do you have your going... registration with your name on it or anything? Well, this car is not mine, so... Okay. Do you have anything with your name on it? Is that your driver's license right there? It's my driver's license and my, um... Okay, can I see your driver's license? Sure. Do you have your, uh, work ID? No, it's at home in my cruiser. Okay. Where do you live at? I live at... Okay. So not the address in your license? No. Okay. I live right there. Whose car is this? My father's. What could possibly have occurred? Isn't it ironic that the very individuals responsible for our safety can sometimes be the source of trouble themselves? Just look at that intoxicated woman. It's almost unbelievable. You're fine. I put the wrong one. How are you? Hey, how are you? Good. Yeah. What's going on tonight? Um, I don't, I have no idea. I'm trying to get home. Oh, okay. Do you know why she pulled you over? Uh, she said because I'm driving too fast. Oh, okay. But I'm a Pinellas County deputy and I'm just trying to get to my house, which is right there. Gotcha. You said you were a deputy? Yes. Where at? Pinellas County Sheriff's Office. Oh, you're with us all night. Yeah. How long you been with us? Five years. I mean... I could get out, I could get in, I mean, you could come in. No, no, you're, you're good right now. Listen, I'm you're just good. trying to, I'm just, I don't know, I, whatever you guys want to do, whatever no, it you're is. Good. I'm just, I live at that light right there. Gotcha. So if you want to hang out, if you don't want to <laughs> hang out. Where are you coming from? Uh, Not even long. Um, You know Gandhi Boulevard? Mm -hmm. I picked up, a, picked up someone, brought them over to their house, and then I was going back to my house. Gotcha. Because... I am just living my life. I gotcha. And they actually live with Pinellas. Later, the cops double-checked, and yep, the lady was definitely sloshed. I mean, come on, did they really need to confirm that? The look on her face when she realizes there's no VIP treatment coming her way is priceless. All right. I'm talking to you, I am getting some signs of impairment. Okay, can I check your eyes real quick? Really? I want, I'm, I want to give you every chance to say that you're fine. This is how you're doing it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't have a choice. It's yes, you do. It's for anybody else. No, yes, you do. I, I can't treat anybody any differently. 
Yes, you would. No. That I, I wasn't in other people's lanes. Okay. I'm not going to argue about that. There's dash cam video and all of that, okay? But we're past that point right now. The point is you were stopped. You're showing signs of impairment. I want to No, give I'm you not showing. Okay. All right. I want to give you every opportunity to show you know that that's not the I, case. I want to ask. Uh -huh. What signs of impairment was I showing? You've got bloodshot, watery eyes. You have Nope, speech. nope. Okay. I want to know. Okay. Pulling over, pulling over. What was the signs of impairment? I'm not gonna because I do not have bloodshot, or watery eyes. Because I have contact lenses in my eyes. Okay. When the woman noticed that the police were suspicious of her, she attempted to use her position to her advantage. However, the loyal police officer refused her immediately. This situation shows that the police prioritize loyalty above everything else. I just want to know. I explained to you. You smell very strongly of alcohol. Your movements have been very slow and fumbling. You have a very dazed facial expression. All these are signs of, of impairment. Okay. Again, if you're good to drive, perfect. But that's I have to I have to investigate that. No, you have to go over it again. Okay. I am showing what exactly? You have bloodshot, watery eyes. You have slurred speech. You have a but I'm wearing water. contact lenses. Okay. You have a strong odor of alcohol coming from your breath. But I'm wearing. I have. As I said, I'm just conducting an investigation at this point. I want to give you every opportunity. You're saying that you're that you're fine. I want to give you every opportunity to show me that. There's no way in hell. No way in hell. Okay. Can I check your eyes real quick? Just make sure that you're okay. You're gonna check it? No. Are you I wanna give you some opportunity to participate in some field sobriety tests. Is that something you'd be willing to do? And if I wasn't willing to do that, too far out, too far out, I can't see You gotta see look it. all the way up as far as you're right. You gotta go, your eyes should go on as far up as they can go. Can't see any further than that. The woman's test performance revealed an unexpected twist. It was evident that she was intoxicated. It's unbelievable that someone like her is expected to be in law enforcement. This time I'm going to give you the opportunity to participate in two more field sobriety tests. Is that something you want to do? You think that I'm impaired right now? As I said, After I said, eyes. Yeah. So in, in the eyes... It's You're showing signs of impairment. I want to give you every opportunity to show me that you're okay. Yeah. Okay. So, again, there's two additional tests, the walk and turn sure. and the one leg stand. Is that something I'll you do mean? all of the do. tests. Okay. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Small heel mm -hmm. to toe steps. Mm -hmm. Down your feet. 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008. Wow, did you see how she flawlessly executed those simple instructions and made them even clearer? But then she completely gaslit her colleagues. What a twist. She's really proving to be quite the enigmatic character, isn't she? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you. You can decide any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand these rights as I read them to you? Yes. Having them in mind. Do you want to talk to me now? Sure. Okay. So where are you coming from tonight? I am coming from downtown Sick Beach. Okay. What time do you go, go downtown? I went downtown at about 7 p.m. Okay. Um, do you come from your place? Yeah, I live at Bugs are eating me. <laughs> so when you're downtown, what, where'd you go down to downtown? Uh, multiple places. A any? um place where you can buy like light 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 pieces for your apartment. Okay. You know? Okay. You know what I'm talking about? Do you remember what it's called? I don't remember. Okay. But you can buy a couple pieces. Okay. Where else did you go?
Do you remember a couple pieces of what you're saying? That they... Like, like, like pictures. Okay. For apartment complexes. Okay. But like it's lamps? like lamps. Yeah, lamps. Lamps. Um. There were a lot of dogs there. Remember where else you are? No, we were just trying to piece furniture together. Okay. Um, what time is it right now without looking if you had to guess? Uh, 12 o'clock. Um, how much did you have to drink while you were down there? I didn't have any to drink. Okay. Here's the thing. We both know you've been drinking. No matter how hard she attempts to maintain composure, her intoxication is unmistakably evident. It's also becoming increasingly apparent that she's more of a manipulator than a law enforcer. The car is registered under your dad's name? Yes. Is he close? No. He's in Orlando. Gotcha. Yeah. So and one. I live at that intersection right there. Is there anyone up that can come pick the car up? Yes, there is. Who's that? My sister. Um, her sister, her sister, is she close by? She lives with me. Oh, okay. Her sister lives right there. Um, what, do you know her number? Or do you need it? Not off the top of my head, I don't. Uh, I need my phone, which I is in the you. car. Alright, I'll bring it to you. Um, what's her name? Stephanie. Stephanie. And that's all for today. Corrupt cops who thought they were untouchable are finally paying the price. Justice always catches up. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. And if you like the video, subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one we have in store for you. Thanks for watching. This is Detective Mystery signing off.